Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Don't achieve build in action. Baby. Okay. I have been piddling on this wing all day. Or not all day. Kind of took a nap poop this afternoon. Got my sleep pattern all mixed up. I've been staying up too late. But I got my this wing done. Aileron servo. Bam, flap servos in it. And I got it hooked up to my matchmaker. Now this ain't a matchbox, this is a matchmaker. This is just for, it's got the dial. It's switching. You see this? Now what I want to do, is I got this servo mounted on this door for this wing. I want to align these horns for it goes the same. Now I could use a matchbox. Someone else had brought that up. Oh, John, the one, two, three battery man. And uh, I kind of got a thing against matchboxes. Uh, we want to get these arms in pretty much the same position. So you can plug two servos in this at a time. So this is like a... Uh, Y harness on those. But you can use matchboxes, but uh, I had a big Skymaster F4. I had a Reg, I, I had it set up flying just fine, as I only had a 10 channel radio back then. And that two elevator servos. And uh, I wanted smoke on it. So I put a matchbox on my elevator, you know, so I could have another channel available for smoke. And uh, three flights later, I was flying along, and all of a sudden just lost elevator. Turned into a lawn dart, splat, smoking hole in the ground. Didn't explode, because I see that, I, just, I shut the turbine down. If you can shut the tur turbine down, you know, just like my other F4, you know, there's not usually not a fire, but uh, I seen it going through the sky and heading to the ground and chopped the throttle. I couldn't do nothing. I had ailerons. I just had no elevator. And I think I pulled too many amps on that uh, matchbox and it burned up. So ever since then, I have never used another matchbox. <laughs> And uh, that's just, uh, I gotta trim some of this out. So I got a thing against matchboxes. I'd rather use a Y harness in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'd use a Y harness before I used another matchbox. I don't know. Bam! See, both my, they're, they're facing the same direction. The horn's on the same side of on the door. Then I'll have to come over here on this one here. See, I, I got enough room because I kind of fudged it a little bit. See, there's enough room to put that deal there. Okay. Now. Put that screw in. 
And also, I don't know so much about jets, but gasoline engines and uh, metal geared servos. You gotta lock tight these screws, man. These things will vibrate out so quick, even with law forcers. Within the first five minutes of running the gas engine, these will come off pretty much. Always oh, gotta lock tight them screws. The only thing we got to worry about on these jets pretty much is the trailer ride, man. Okay, bam. Oh, someone said, asked me about the servo leakage inside. Uh, that one I had set up like that is this one here. In fact, I had to pull my mounts out because the air cylinder's in the way. From my landing gear, you can see it right there. See where I took that little piece of wood out right there? And that air cylinder's in the way now. So I just, uh, I could probably still fit them in there, but I'd have had to redo it all. I just wanted to quick and easy. You know, I know it's going to work. Man, look. these wings are fixing to be done. He sure is. I'm not running out of these screws. That's a pretty good idea drilling a bunch of holes in that wood. I'm going to use a bunch of these screws. freezing out tonight man the other day it was like 85 and they had to turn the air conditioner on in the house and out here and it turned off cold again I don't know what's with our spring we're going to miss out on spring this year it's going to go straight from winter to 100 degrees I hate that oh I didn't tell you guys the update on Dad. Dad's doing great. Went to the hospital today. Uh, he was sitting, uh, he's just doing fantastic. Says he feels good and, and of course he's sore. And uh, I know he's ready to get, get on home, but uh, unfortunately he can't yet. And, uh, oh, he was just happy to see us and in real good spirits and doing fantastic. Just fantastic. You know, and then they brought him his lunch and poor guy didn't feel good enough to eat, but... Wanted me to go get him a cup of coffee, and he said that was the best cup of coffee he ever had. <laughs> then the physical therapist came in, ready to go to work on old dad, so we went ahead and left. He, he was looking tired anyway. They had him on a well, dad took a lower tab, but <laughs> Dad don't like them paid pills, man. But you can just see, after we was there for a while, his eyes getting heavy, so we had to say see you later, but I'm gonna see him again tomorrow. But he's uh he's doing great, people. He's getting ready to be in his room. Tomorrow I'm gonna give you guys a new address. We checked with the nurse's station, though, everything. If you guys send a card and it went to that first one, he'll still get it, so don't worry. So we'll see you back in the shop. Thanks a lot, everybody.